was hoping he would remember that today, and he did. I hear I owe you a thank you. If you hadn't been in the park, then... You'd be dead. And it wouldn't have taken long. That's it? You're not gonna... rub it in my face? I just did what I was trained to do, Ryan. Huh. Whether you wanted to or not, that's a whole other story, isn't it? I'll let Greenlee know that you're feeling much better. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry I ran out like that. I just needed to reach my dad. I get it. And my it's mom, fine. I can't even deal with her anymore. She's completely insane. Did you talk to Adam? Voicemail, but I mean, at least I got to apologize, right? He'll understand. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, he kind of has to. He's my dad. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. So, do I even want to know what happened in there? No, you don't. You know what? You are right. Let's not talk about them. Let's not talk about my mom, Tad, my dad, or anyone else. Let's just talk about us. Things are pretty perfect before they barged in, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were. I don't know why I let them do that. Or one of these days. He's not in the place that he can hear you. Hear me? Why? Why? Why, why should he hear me? I don't know what I'd say. You know, I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I know he's your son. You want to think the best of him. I just wish he wouldn't make it so damn hard on you. Oh, look at your face right now. Oh, sweetheart. You see, this is the reason why I tried to keep this insanity from you. I couldn't bear the thought of you being hurt. I honestly don't know what I am. I know. I know. I know this is a lot. But I'm telling you that it's it's going to be okay. All right? We are going to be okay. You know, that night that you showed up on my doorstep and you said that you wanted to give it another try. God, I was so excited. I couldn't bear the thought of ruining that. That's why it happened? Oh, God, no. Not the night before Jake and Amanda's wedding. The night I showed up your place. Da Damon was there the night I came to your apartment? Yes. Yes. Of course. Now it makes sense. That's why you were so uncomfortable. That's why you kept pushing me for the door. I mean, I, I thought it was because I was loaded, you know, because, I mean, I, I know I had a few. A few? But, but I no, mean, really? I, mean, I, I, well, I remember that. And you know what else I remember? Okay, you know, really, rehashing no, this is I, not going to make this any I, re I, I remember on you, you acting decidedly not drunk. <sighs> well, I, I, but it just it made an impression. I mean, there I am acting like an idiot, pouring my heart out, being a slob, and then and, and you're, you're stone cold sober. Sober. Me, hardly sober. Well, if you had a couple, you certainly didn't show it. Okay, don't take this the wrong way, but anyone would have looked sober compared to you. And besides, Damon's past, that cleared my head up pretty quickly. So Damon heard my whole spiel, the whole thing. And you didn't say anything? What, and I'm gonna ruin that moment? Please. Honey, you showed up on my doorstep. That was like... Uh, that was like something out of a movie. I wanted to say something. I did. I just couldn't. Oh, Tad, you are such a good man. You are so honest and so 
caring and giving and... But sometimes you just forget to take care of yourself. So you were doing it for me? I was trying to. I'm sorry if I made a mistake. The last thing in the world I'd ever want to do was disappoint you. Wow. You didn't have to get dressed up. Huh. Have you met me? Of course I did. Your timing is impeccable. You need a lift? Mm hmm Please. There you go. So, proper Last Supper attire? You look amazing. Kidding, by the way. I hope there are many more dinners in our future. Me too. Well, I guess I better get dressed up. I'm gonna make sure I'm suitable arm candy for my date. Oh, <laughs> please, you always look great. Thank you. But tonight is, it's very important for both of us. I wanna make sure that I treat it as such. Thank you for this. I didn't realize how hungry I was. Mm -hmm. So you can stop making all those nurse jokes now? <laughs> Let's see. Well, can I get you anything else? Do you need do you need more gelatin or crackers maybe or No, I'm I'm good, but um my pillow could use a little bit more fluffing. You're kidding. Yes, I'm kidding. Oh. But you know what I really could use? I could use you dress up in a little nurse's outfit. That would be really helpful, actually. You know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna go to the gift shop. I'm not even gonna ask you if you want anything. I'll take a pack of gum, Sorry. please. Please? Can't Some hear magazines? You. Something! I'm back. Hey, that was fast. That was work. Well, that's fine. There's nothing exciting going on. Hmm. Was Greenlee there? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you something? Sure. How did she seem? Greenly? Why? I don't know. David was just here. Fun. And he seemed, um, off. And I just get really nervous whenever I see him like that. Well, I thought you were done being nervous about Greenly. Well, um, I am. It's not like that. It's just you throw David in the mix. What if he's not in the mix? What does that mean? I probably shouldn't be telling you this because it's absolutely none of my business. What? Greenlee was looking at real estate when I saw her. For herself. It sounded like David and Greenlee are over. 